Hello, sweet souls. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And um, this is going to be another full-length uh, YouTube video. So give me a few minutes and we will download it and you guys can go on there and watch it. So let's see what we got for you. So you guys are coming out of this confused state where you don't know what choice to make. Um, things are becoming a little more clear to you. Um, you have positive movement, which is amazing. You have collaboration. This is a gift from the divine. Um, in the past, you were heavily burdened. Um, there was a tower moment that caused great suffering, um, but the divine wants you to know justice is coming. Justice is coming for all that you endure, so don't worry, okay? You have a divine counterpart coming. Um, for now, though, the divine wants you just to trust, um, work, and focus on your own financial security, and just know that this partner that's coming in is emotionally giving um, and very passionate for you. This person will not place stipulations on their love for you. Um, you are seeing things from a different perspective. Um, this could be someone from your past, not necessarily that you were in a relationship with, but someone that you know. Um, they want a reunion with you. They are watching you. You also have financial abundance coming. This is a gift from the divine. Okay, there was some deception in your past. You are manifesting financial security on your own. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Yeah. This past narcissist um, they had in your life, don't worry, because moving forward, you're going to have true divine love. Um, you won't have to experience that again. You just needed to learn who you were. Learn it, you needed to learn your value and um, how to set boundaries. Um, you have a divine partner coming in that is a wish fulfillment because you learned a lesson, guys. We learned it. Now you're standing in your power and you're cutting away anyone and everyone that's not aligned with you. And you don't care what other people think of you. You don't care about their judgment. It means nothing. Yeah, you have, um, this is a financial opportunity that's coming your way. An offer. Standing in your Queen of Cups energy, listening to your intuition, being kind, loving, empathetic, um, all that you are, because that, that's truly who you are. And be proud of who you are. It's amazing. This is calling in this um, this loving offer. Being in your power is calling in this this divine offer, this love offer. You know, you did the healing. Let me clarify this card. This narcissist that you were in a long term commitment with or a marriage taught you to love yourself. Taught you to, to know your value. And to never tolerate less than you deserve ever again. It was a gift, guys. Woo! Oh, wow. Well, have strength because um, all of the secret lies and deception from the past, you're going to get clarity on it, guys. I'm sorry, but they just dumped all my cards on the floor. So, now i got to get them straight. <laughs> so, don't worry about... You know, the lies and the deception from the past. Because you know what? You see through those masks now. No one can manipulate you anymore. Um, you have perfect clarity moving forward in your life. You've learned everything that you needed to learn. And no one's going to pull the wool over your eyes anymore, guys. You just, you've been through it. And there is uh, no more deception that will be had in regards to you. And the divine's going to make sure of that. You just have to stay in alignment with who you are and not worry about anyone else. Um, we don't we don't need to prove ourselves to anyone. We don't need anyone's validation. Um, we need to be in alignment with who we are, um, love God, and and that's it. You don't you don't have to explain yourself to anyone. If they don't agree with you, they can move on. It doesn't matter. We don't we don't need negative energies in our life. Yeah, clarity. Moving forward, you will have perfect clarity in everything in your life. You will have balance in your life.
Yeah. So this past person that was surrounded by deception, deceit, they're reminiscing about you. Um, they can see themselves for who they are now. Um, they see you as this Nine of Pentacles, lady or man of luxury, not needing anyone, being confident in who they are. Where once they could manipulate, control, and deceive you, now they know they can't. And it's heart-wrenching for them because they know what they lost. They know that it's their own choices, their own deception that destroyed what was divine love. They're heavy in their regret. But this ending brings a new beginning, a rebirth for you. Um, this is you taking a leap of faith in this beautiful new beginning, a future uh, filled with love. Um, you know, you will have someone honest and loyal coming into your life. The wheel will finally turn in your favor when you stand in your Queen of Wands energy, following your own passions, not worrying about judgment of others, and um, being confident in yourself, loving yourself, um, positive statements that you make to yourself, um, knowing that it doesn't matter if anyone views you um, differently um, or doesn't agree with anything that you do. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't. We don't care. We don't care. You have an offer coming in. It's slow and steady. Um, but it's because that person needed to work on themselves as well. Um, you are moving into a time of peace. Beautiful peace in your life. A passionate new beginning. This is a brand new start for you guys. Um, don't let your heart be guarded, but yet set your boundaries. So, you know, you don't want to be jaded or bitter. But you definitely want to set your boundaries. You have complete happiness coming and you deserve it. Every single one of you deserve it. And you know that is what you went through. All of this hell to get you to this point right now. To know who you are. To love yourself. And know that God expects you to have divine love and happiness. That's what he wants for you. That's what he expects. Like I said, no more negative self-talk. No more. You want to change something about yourself then say i will be whatever i will be financially secure i will have a new home i will travel make i statements that are positive and, and affirmations don't relive or rethink about negative things that people have said to you in the past the world is in your hands you can travel you can do anything you want open your own business um any passion that you always wanted to do that people said you couldn't do it you need to do it because it's going to be, you're going to have victory. You will have victory. You're going to be able to stand in this queen of pentacles energy. This is a man or a woman. Okay. Being on their own, being grounded and stay one financially secure and being proud that they were able to do this on their own. It gives you empowerment because all that you went through and still you are strong and you can stand alone and be happy about it. That's awesome guys. You know, the person from the past that made you feel like an option, it wasn't you. It was their own insecurities. They're going to rush in and give you this little offer. It's a lame apology. Another lame attempt, attempt at manipulation and hopes that you'll fall for it again. But we've been through too much. Then we're not going to fall for it. Listen to your intuition. You are an empress. We have no use for a page. They're immature energy um, that doesn't know how to love because they're broken and don't want to do the work. They don't want to do the work because it, it's painful. It's painful to face your own self. It's painful to heal and to, to accuse yourself and be accountable for all that you are and all that you've done. But that's not our problem. You have communication coming in. This is regards to good karma for you and judgment for the person, bad karma, uh, for the player from the past. This player is filled with such regret, such agony. They see you as wish fulfillment, complete happiness. You walked away because they caused you nothing but heartbreak and they do see that you're a soul union. Now they're surrounded by conflict, internal and external, and it was of their own making. You are their wish fulfillment and they're holding on for dear life because they know moving forward you have a divine counterpart. A divine counterpart that will treat you as you deserve. They won't manipulate, lie, or cheat, but will truly love you. That will build um, a family, a home with you. That will, that will never abandon or reject you. And they know that. Now they're guarded. Now they're feeling like a victim. 
because she turns her back on them. Now, you know, they can't be accountable for breadcrumbing you because they always have to be a victim. But now they're feeling like they were stabbed. They're feeling so deeply wounded, but they stabbed their own heart. They stabbed their own soul with, with all the evil that they did. They know that you're a soul union. Now they feel left out in the cold. They left themselves out. You were there. You gave and you gave and you gave until it broke you. But you're not broken. Now you're a warrior. And no one will ever break you. No one will ever destroy you, harm you, hurt you. Because you got strength of steel now. get here for you guys. The sun. This is what you guys have coming. A time of great joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans that work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. That's amazing. That's what you have common, guys. You also have a happy marriage. Happily ever after. Emotional contentment. A loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. After this horrible, horrible, devastating pain, you have complete happiness. You have a committed relationship that is divinely guided, that is all that you deserve. This is you now. A brilliant experience, harmonious, judgmental, re releasing situations or people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorce, or unmarried individuals. This is you right now. This is your present energy. This is you standing in your power. Even though you're alone, yeah, you're divorced or separated or alone. But guess what? You're empowered. You know who you are. And you have such confidence and conviction in what you do. You're starting to see that the past pain was a true gift. It was a true gift. And we got this one. Insights that come from meditation. The need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get more sleep. They don't want you to sit and dwell on things from the past. It was what it was for a reason. It was to elevate you. To make you empowered. To make you the beautiful being that you are. And to be able to walk in alignment with what your divine uh, path is some you would have never gone there with that person. They would have kept you down Their energy was so negative and draining You're free. You've been liberated guys The divine says yes, you've been liberated Moving forward, it's up to you. You have free will. It's up to you with what you've done, with what you've learned from the past. You learn from it, you move forward, taking what you've learned and not repeating it. You know, make sure that you are not falling back to old patterns, codependent behaviors. You do have recovery. Recovery from the pain of the past. This. You know, you felt like you would never recover because it was so devastating. You thought you would die. But no, the divine is saying you will recover and you will be stronger and better than ever. I want you to communicate clearly. You know, no more being passive. No more going with the flow and allowing people to walk on you and feel like you have to take care of everyone. No, you are number one. You take care of you first. You stand in your energy, your Empress energy, your Queen of Wands energy, and your Swords energy. Cutting away people that don't serve you, following your own passions, and not tolerating anyone that is in alignment with you. That is what God desires for you. Play 
playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. It's time for you to get out and have fun, to find joy in life again, even if it's on your own. It's time for you to be happy. Find that happiness. You don't need another to make you happy. It's inside of you. This one, it's called balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Remember that. A true divine love is equal. There is not one party that gives more than another. And there's going to be ups and downs. But at the end, you support each other. You don't abandon. You don't reject. And you don't betray. This says... Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. You need to imagine what it is that you want moving forward and claim it and believe it's yours because it is. Only amazing things are coming. The hell you went through, you will never suffer again. You've suffered through it and you learned what you needed to learn and you will not suffer again. I promise you. Okay, guys, I've missed you. Um, I am opening slots for people that haven't had readings before. Um, these are for new people um, because I can't do very many. I can only do one or two a day. So if you're interested in a reading, um, you can text me and we can talk about fitting in at a time. Um, my number is 859-307-1381, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you.